Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today our guest is a 1969 Volkswagen pickup truck. I, th I thought I was out of my element when we did a beetle bug about a week, week and a half ago. It lasted six hours, by the way, on the uh, website. And it, it had two people buying it, but it actually did sell within about six hours of hitting the website. Definitely out of my element on this thing. I look for a motor. There's nothing up front, so I'm assuming this is in the back where we found the other one. Uh, we did open it up. There's something that looks like an engine back under there, but I have no idea what it is, but it does propel this vehicle as fast as you want to go, I guess. Haven't driven it yet, but we are going to. Uh, we're going to go over the aesthetics of this vehicle for you. Do my very best to pick out any imperfections that we find. I hope I don't miss too many. Uh, let's get started. Windshield on it is really nice. No chips or marks or anything on it. Uh, the rubber is nice and resilient that mounts it. It's really great condition. No bingies or dingies or anything on it. Factory antenna, I'm going to assume. I know this can't be air intake for the uh, engine because it's in the back, so this must be ventilation for the front. Uh, chrome molding around the headlights is really, really nice on uh, both sides. A little tiny bit of patina on it, but nothing really even mention. VW designation on the front, obviously, that's what it is. It's a real pretty cream color. It's like a cream bamboo type uh, uh, finish on it, uh, color-wise. It's actually really attractive with like a, I don't know what you'd want to call it, uh, the way chocolate gets in a refrigerator when you leave it in there too long. That's what color the interior is. So we got bamboo on the outside, the chocolate, uh, cold chocolate on the inside. Front bumper, uh, couple little marks here and there just through the age, through the years it's had a little bingy dingy here and there. But the original chrome is still present on this, so it does house a lot of originality for this vehicle. Obviously it's never been any accidents, otherwise it still wouldn't have the original front bumper on it. Marker lights in the front are really nice and clear. They have an amber uh, back set to them. Uh, really nice setup in the front actually. I mean other than a couple little marks on the front bumper that are very evident to you. Uh, the front of the vehicle is actually very, very nice. The paint is nice on it. Uh, driver quality, of course. But uh, it's a nice straight vehicle up front. Roof doesn't look like it has any issues whatsoever. Nothing's ever scraped across it. Can't really see the top, but it, doesn't, it looks like it's, uh, it's all intact. The windshield's definitely got to be a newer one because there's not a single mark on it. Also, the um, dashboard, which is still original paint on it, where it transitions onto the base of the windshield, which is really evident here, uh, is still really nice and clean with the original finish on it. So um, someone's taking care of this vehicle through the years. Let's go on the side and see what we can find. Okay, now the side of our VW pick em up truck. Looks like some steps here when you open the door. Um, huge door, actually, to get into this thing. You'd have absolutely no problem getting into this vehicle at all. And a real nice bench seat in the front, 60-40 seat, uh, real nice idea of putting that in there. Chrome, Volkswagen style, 15 inch wheels on it. Uh, the door handles themselves, they're original, the chrome is very, very nice on it. A little bit of age, but nothing to really get excited about. Trim around the windshields, the wipes on the windows are still nice and uh, resilient. Uh, this one's protruding a little bit, that, now it's back in where it's supposed to be. Um, fitment of the door. There's definitely no Porsche, but it, it, let me see something. No, it's just the way it fits with this rubber seal that it has. It, it, it doesn't have as flush of fitment as a Camaro or a Roadrunner. Again, I don't know what it's supposed to be. I think it's the first one I've ever even looked at. So, I'm going to guess that this is, this is acceptable for this type of vehicle. Again, the roof, there's absolutely no marks or scrapes or anything on it. The, uh, Gutter molding is, it, well, there's no molding. It, the gutter itself is real nice. Uh, resilient rubber around the side windows. The back, it is the back door. There's a door on that side, there's none on this side. This is just the side of the vehicle. Um, paint's real nice on it, though. It's a real nice enamel paint job. It's a uh, really, really great, uh, great finish on it. All 10. It's, it's not rotted or deteriorated anywhere, actually. What the heck? This bedside apparently folds down. Huh. 
That's neat. That side falls down, the tailgate falls down, that side falls down. So if you fold everything down, you can use it as a hay wagon to haul the hay for the horses. It would be a great idea for that. And put the bed sides up and the tailgate up, and you can load it up with river rock or uh, bark chips for the uh, landscaping. It'd be a good utility uh, pickup truck for somebody. Uh, finish on the side is really nice. Tires are all new. Uh, chrome caps on it, VW. It's a nice vehicle down the side, very, very quality vehicle down the side. Let's see what we can find in the back. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay, the tail end of our little Volkswagen uh, pickup truck. Volkswagen designation on the back. Really a high quality vehicle. I mean, all the tin, all the um, uh, metal on this vehicle is solid as a rock everywhere. There's no place that I can see any Bondo or any kind of filler. Uh, it's, it's just a nice, uh, nice solid truck everywhere I look. Uh, trim around the uh, backup lights, I'm assuming. Yeah, backup lights and tail lights. Still original and still in excellent condition. Um, there is an engine, if you open this up, it's kind of stuck back under there. It looks like some semblance of a, uh, an engine of some sort in there. It does propel this thing, so it must work. Back end of this is actually very nice. Again, the back has a couple of little dinghies through the years. Original bumper. Uh, really nice condition, though. I mean, you can see that the vehicle's never been in any kind of uh, uh, accidents. A um, little bit of a crease here, too. But again, original bumper, original chrome, and the fitment itself is very nice, uh, both laterally and uh, horizontally. It's really nice. It, it's uh, or vertically. It's really a nice, uh, really nice back end of this thing. Let's see what's on the passenger side. Okay, let's start in the back and go up to the uh, passenger side. Again, the side marker light, really nice. Here, all tin, no Bondo, no filler, no, uh, no repairs at all. Really nice solid. All tin. Uh, must be the air intake for whatever the engine is in the uh, back here. Apparently that's where they pull in the air. Gas filler uh, door. Again, the finish on this vehicle is very nice. It seems like a real heavy uh, enamel paint job. It, it, it's really a great, uh, looks like a very durable finish. Uh, it, it's not a show quality by any means, but it, it's, it's really nice. It's very nicely laid on. This door fitment is the same as the other one. Wait, this side has more doors on it. Uh, apparently you get into the back. Oh, there you go. You can get into the back this way, and passenger in the front. Neat. External hinges like the uh, Volkswagen Beetle that we had the other day. Again, uh, wipes on the uh, doors, trim around the windows. Uh, all the rubber has resilience to it. A mirror on this side and the driver's side, of course, has one, but this one does have a uh, passenger side mirror. And again, the step for getting inside the vehicle. It's a nice straight vehicle. It's a vehicle I know absolutely nothing about. I mean, it's the first, second one I've ever seen in my life. I did see one on the road here about a year ago. And then uh, Kevin procured this one. So that's a nice representation of a 69 Volkswagen pickup truck extra cab. And there's lots of room in this. It's not like a, an extended cab Ford or a Chevy. This thing here actually is a four-place uh, vehicle. So you do have a place for four adults, plus a bed, appears to be about a six-foot bed, um, that you can haul just about anything you want to haul in it. And the Volkswagen durability, I mean, these things just run and run and run forever. Good, solid vehicle. I don't detect any uh, rust or any repairs anywhere on it. Uh, we'll do an undercarriage uh, presentation on it uh, for you to show you the underside to make sure that it is uh, uh, solid. And Devin and I will do a ride on it and an interior uh, presentation for you. So let's see what I don't know what's going on in there. Well, we're inside our 69 uh, Volkswagen pick -em up truck. This thing's totally amazing. We just went around the outside of it, and this thing is as solid as a rock everywhere. I didn't detect any repairs, any replacement of any components whatsoever on the outside. Uh, uh, front marker lights, tail lights, backup lights, anything. And the bumpers still have uh, the originality to them. The seats are really in great condition. They have to have been re repaired or replaced through the years. There's no way they can still retain this kind of uh, uh, degree of uh, 
quality through that many years. Uh, the side panels are just side panels. They're nothing. They're upholstered on the front. They're just plain, uh, like um, for mica board or something in the back. Headliner is really, really nice in the vehicle. Sun visors are the original ones and still very nice condition. The mirror doesn't have any deterioration on it. Dashboard is really nice in this vehicle, and it's a it is a padded dash, sort of, kind of. Um, the seats again, 60/40. Uh, door for access in the back for the uh, passengers on uh, passenger side. Uh, really nice. The the the, the matting is uh, rubber mats in it. Uh, clutch and the brake. Big old steering wheel. Turn signals. Auxiliary gauges for. Uh, I don't know what they are. What are they? They are. Oil pressure and cylinder head uh, temperature. So, and we got a speedometer and a fuel gauge. That's it. That's what we got. A newer design cassette radio, a four speed transmission, of course. Uh, overall condition of this thing is just exemplary. It really is. I mean, I'm joking about the, the vehicle being something I don't know about, but I really don't. But all I can do is go around it like I would a Camaro or a Roadrunner or anything else. And this car does have a lot of integrity to it. It's a, it's a very solid vehicle. It's not some rot bucket that's been glued back together again. The uh, condition of this thing is just exemplary inside and outside. Uh, we're going to do a uh, undercarriage. I'm really anxious to see what it's like uh, undercarriage-wise. And um, I can't give you a negative on it. it. It's just a really great conditioned vehicle. And somewhere there's a motor in the back, I guess, but it just it just has a lot of quality to it. Whoever laid the paint on this thing did an exemplary job of it. Everything fits. Everything's nice. Uh, everything is painted. There's not one little paint blister anywhere on it. Nice quality vehicle. You should really take a look at this if you're in the market for a Volkswagen pickup truck. There can't be that many out of of them out there. So you are going to find this one at Hangsters and Daytona Beach at a very nominal price. You really, really should take a look at this if you're in the market for a VW pickup truck. Here it is. What do we got here? We have, we have a steering wheel. It functions. There's a speedometer. Hopefully it'll function. Full instrumentation. We got a speedometer and a gas gauge. It shows about an eighth of a tank, quarter of a tank, something like that. It does have an oil pressure gauge that's working and a cylinder head temperature gauge which is just starting to come up. Uh, turn signal left, turn signal, turn signal left, turn signal right. Uh, wipers, I have no idea. Let's try that. Wipers work. Um, okay. Let's see if we sneak out here, go for a ride, and this thing, see if it functions. Oh crap, it moves. Speedometer is functioning. We're up to a blistering 25 mile an hour. We're going to make a right here. And it successfully made its first turn. actually runs really well. It doesn't shake, vibrate, nothing. Look at this. Down the road, no hands. Straight as an arrow. Look, no hands. This try brakes, no hands. Stops, no hands. Uh, let's see. Go back to third gear. A little more speed here. What? You can actually use this as an everyday driver. It really does run well. It goes down the road straight as can be. We have our astro ventilation here. Oh, we got air conditioning. We got our air conditioning system here. Oh, it actually goes. There's not a thing that you can. Uh, really uh, complain about on this thing. It does down the road. It, it, it drives and runs. Well, 
It's my second Volkswagen experience, and both of them were really well executed, really well done. Nice vehicles. Well, it didn't break the tires loose, but it's definitely going. this thing but it's really a good vehicle it um, it drives and runs it's a smooth riding it's quiet it's tight uh, cosmetically there's nothing that you can really fault it for no it's not a hundred point show car but you know it's better than most pickup trucks that you see which is what it is it's a Volkswagen pickup truck it does have a unique feature of the bedsides folding down why I have no idea but there's a reason for it I'm sure um, it's a nice straight vehicle, it really runs out well. There's nothing that I can really fault this thing for. Um, a lack of power if you compare it to a Hemi or a, a 496 pick block Chevy, but again, you know, I, there's nothing that you can fault the vehicle for. In fact, I normally take a shortcut, I'm going to go the long way. This thing's fun to drive, it's really a great vehicle. It stops well, it drives well, it does everything it's supposed to. I can't think of a single thing to say uh, negative about it. Absolutely nothing. It's a great, great vehicle, great truck. I like it. Well, we're underneath our 1969 Volkswagen pickup truck, extended cab, crew cab, truck. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm going to try my very best to go over this with you. There's definitely no motor up front, but there is one in the back. I can see it better from underneath than we could from on top. But everything on this thing mimics what we went over whenever we went around the vehicle on top and in the uh, uh, interior. It's just as new as you'd ever want to find. Drum brakes in the front, um, nice sway bar in the front uh, also. The tie rods are just as clean and nice and tight as could possibly be. Steering damper on it. Uh, the front axle has a set of new shocks in the front of it. The framework in the front is just totally undisrupted and it's tin, so I mean anybody that would try to jack it up, if there's any marks, we'll try to point them out to you. I think, I'm not sure, but I think this is the heat tube from the engine, um, has uh, boxes around the heater boxes around the exhaust manifolds that have a fan on them in the back that blows the heat up through this tube and puts it up into the engine compartment and onto the uh, uh, windshield for your defroster. Pretty good system, actually, when you think about it, because where most cars take, uh, you know, liquid-cooled vehicles take a little bit of time to uh, warm up. This particular one uh, has exhaust uh, temperature like instantly. Temperatures up to uh, three, four hundred, five hundred degrees almost instantly. So that heat's transferred to the front, so you have instantaneous heat in the winter time if you need it. Floor pans are just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Tires are brand new in the front. I did state new shocks in the front. Um, I'm assuming these cables are all from the shifter and uh, brake cables, brake lines. Um, must be a fuel line. I don't even know where the gas tank is on this thing. I imagine it has one somewhere though. Anyway, uh, there's lines that go from the front to the back. Some of them are fuel lines, apparently. Some of them are brake lines for sure. Some of them are parking brake, some of them are shifting cables. Um, it's a nice vehicle. Uh, the floor pans themselves are really, really nice. The, uh, the frame structure, which is uh, stamped steel, uh, is also really great condition. A couple of very little tiny jack marks here and there. One there that you can hardly see. Uh, and, and honestly, I can hardly even see them to point them out. But uh, there are a couple of very minuscule uh, marks where jack stands were. Uh, held on to it uh, through the years. Again, you can see all the structural components across the uh, uh, floor pan itself. There's a little tiny bit of a um, 
perforation there, a little bit of like corrosion, maybe a piece about that long. Doesn't appear that it's gone through anywhere. The same over there, there's like a little tiny smudgy spot on it. That's it on those two spots, and I don't understand why because the rest of the pans are absolutely flawless. Those two have a couple little like flaky pieces. No idea. But the rest of them solid as a rock. There's no uh, uh, deterioration whatsoever on the drop downs. Uh, for the uh, rocker panels, which would be part of the uh, side structure of this particular vehicle. Very solid vehicle, very nice, very clean as you can see. I mean, there's absolutely nothing that you can say uh, negative about this vehicle. It's as clean and, and uh, original a vehicle underneath as you could possibly find. Let's go to the mechanical part in the back and uh, we'll see if we can determine something back there for you. Okay, I think we're at the mechanical end of this guy right now. Um, mechanically, I know it's very sound. We just sent it to uh, uh, a shop and had all new seals put in it so your transaxle assembly which was leaking before now is bone dry as you can see transaxle assembly itself is dry uh, new CV joints on it uh, drum brakes in the back, in the back to uh, coincide with the two uh, drums up front new shocks in the rear everything on his car there's no scale there's nothing other than those two little spots about that big I, I mentioned to you but I don't even know what the heck they are but anyway um, uh, this thing is just as solid and nice and clean a vehicle as you could possibly ever find, ever. Uh, these are your heater boxes, which we discussed earlier, uh, that go through the, uh, the, the exhaust uh, manifolds themselves go through there, and there's an outer casing, which are the boxes, and then fans blow the air from these heater boxes as you see through these tubes uh, and transition it to the front of the vehicle for uh, um, passenger compartment heating. Really nice vehicle. I mean, this thing is, I'm not a Volkswagen guy, but I'll tell you what, uh, I can't see anything at all in this vehicle that's a miss. It, um, it really represents itself well in a nice original uh, 69 Volkswagen uh, pickup truck. You can use it as a utility vehicle, you can use it as a play toy, whatever you want. I mean, you can see the, uh, the original integrity that this thing still retains. Uh, it's as nice a one as you're ever going to find anywhere. There can't be that many of them out there for sale, but there is one at Hankster's in Daytona Beach, Florida. So you got to look at this guy. It's pretty nice.